product and here you can set up the images featured images which are for the front page only and the gallery images which will create the image array options here on the left hand side if this is an affiliate product you can specify the buy link or the Amazon or the affiliate link there are two options here you can specify the Amazon button link which refers directly to the Amazon buy now button here or if you wish to have another button instead you can use the buy link which is just a separate optional button or if you wish the page to be instantly redirected using the affiliate link you can specify this option here which will then hide this page section but when the visitor clicks to view this page they will be instantly redirected used to the affiliate link and the key options here when setting up products on your main website are these list fields or custom list fields within Shopperpress and these allow you to specify values that will be sent to the checkout for customizations of the product for example sizes and colors you initially set up these options in the admin area under number two custom fields you can specify four text only values which would be for example small, medium, large etc or you can specify two values which will increment the price of the product so for example here we can in increment the price of $50, $100 etc if we go back to the product we can show you how it's set up so initially you would set up the custom list fields to specify for example sizes, product colors etc then when you're adding or editing your, your products you specify them in an array format separated with a comma so in this case we have small comma medium comma large etc you would do this with this box one two four and five if you wish to use the pricing implement incrementation tool you would specify the price that you wish to increment it by equals sign and then the display value in the list box so in this case for example I might want to add a small red and increment the value by $50 or is it set in the admin $46.95 if we go to the checkout section we can see we've added the size is small the product color we've added is red and the additional price that we would have added is $46.95 so those items are then sent to the checkout. The total value then is both the product price and the additional incremented price. Product images are either linked to or uploaded to your ShopperPress website. You initially set up the paths and the locations of your uploaded files in the admin area of ShopperPress under 1 General Setup, Image Setup. Here you specify the paths here you specify the paths where you'll store your product images. If you're unsure of the path to use, simply check, copy and paste the value listed underneath the text box. This value is the system generated path which you recommend you use. You can then use the image manager tool to upload your images and then manage, edit, customize and view the product images at your pleasure. When editing the images for the products, simply view the product. You can use these tools here to view product images. Simply click on the image to add the image to the product. Or use this option here under gallery images. Same again, you can select more than one image. All images are separated with a comma. Once the website visitor has added all of the products to the shopping cart, they would then proceed to the checkout page to pay for them. If you have not yet created the checkout page on your ShopperPress website, you do this in the admin area of WordPress under Pages. And if there is not already a checkout page available, simply click on Add New. The page content is not important. What is important is this Page Attribute section on the right hand side. You must select the checkout page tool from 
the drop down list. You can then create any name for the page and just click on publish. What this will do is create a new page in ShopperPress, but it will assign the checkout page template to it. The checkout page template is part of the ShopperPress package. It is the template file which starts with the TPL underscore ShopperPress underscore checkout, which is in the ShopperPress theme folder. Once you have set up your checkout pages, you need to ensure that the checkout buttons on your website link to the correct pages. We do this in the admin area under number 1 General Setup. Click on the Page Setup tab and scroll down the page. Here you can specify the link that will be assigned to the checkout buttons. Once you have correctly set up the checkout buttons on your website, you can then start configuring the checkout page. We have a number of checkout options available. These include the checkout setup, which allows you to either email all of the orders for manual processing or ask the user to pay for the product right away. We can enable the skip registration option, which skips all of the delivery information fields and goes straight to the checkout. We can add a global market price which adds an extra value to all of the products on your website. So for example, I have a product here, $17.99. If I add $100 to all of the products on my website, you can see now they've all been added, $117.99, $115, etc. We can enable and disable guest checkouts. We can set up the tax options, which include a global tax option as a percentage amount. We can enable country and state tax options, which you first specify which country. You then specify either a percentage option for that country, or you can select the country again and specify a percentage option again for the state within that country. You can specify one for either. You can specify coupons for your website, you can, so you can create your coupon codes. And you can also set up promotional options. So for example, if a user orders between 10 and 20 items, they can get a, a discount rate. On the front end of the website, the user can create their own account or use the guest checker options to skip the account creation options. They can then complete the delivery information. And then it comes to the shipping options on your website. In the admin area, and the number 4 shipping, you can set up your shipping options. You can specify free shipping for orders of X amount. So I can specify a USD amount for shipping. I can set up specific shipping methods. I can set up a, sh a flat rate shipping fee per price shipping fee, a weight shipping fee, which will only be used if you've specified a weight element for each of the products, and a per country shipping fee, where I can set a fixed or percentage amount based on the country it's been shipped to. The user would then select the shipping option, click on continue, and then be presented with a payment options on their website. The payment options are set up once again in the admin area, under number nine payment setup. Here you'll see a big list of different payment gateways that are implemented into ShopperPress. You can simply click on the name to expand the values and complete all of the fields as necessary. A key element in ShopperPress is the ability to set up a callback page, which is the page the user is then taken back to after purchases have been made. It will then automatically update the system depending on the payment gateway you're using. We initially set up the callback page in the admin area the same way as we set up the checkout page under pages and if an existing callback page doesn't exist we click on add new and from the page templates we simply check callback page.
we then get the link for the callback page. And then enter that into the payment setup options under return, cancel and notify. All of the links should be exactly the same. This will then take the user back to your website regardless of the payment status and show them the correct page. The user then clicks on the checkout button on your website, proceeds to the merchant page to, to pay for the items, and then is returned back to the callback page. Their items and information is then displayed under the My Order section in their account area, where the status can then be viewed by the user.